So on the Rascal Light mini bike, with the 98cc, I was able to get the bike close to 50 miles an hour, 49.94, and in the eight second range from zero to 30. And I was able to get it to 50 with a slide carb, header pipe, a billet flywheel, aftermarket cam, and of course, the governor removal. And then I shaved 50 thousandths off the head. But then I lost a few miles an hour after I added the street tires. And now it does around 47 miles an hour. It changed the effective gear ratio. The street tires are a little bit shorter than the tires that came on the bike. So I figured maybe to gain some of that top speed back, but still not lose much from zero to 30, I'm gonna add this 70 rear sprocket instead of the 75 rear sprocket that came on the bike. And I'll see if it gains any of its top speed back without losing too much from zero to 30. What's cool about this bike, it has a lot of adjustment for the chain. So even if I put a smaller sprocket on there, I don't think I'm gonna have to cut the chain. It makes it easy for a nice, easy swap. We'll just dump this engine. So with the 12 on the clutch and a 75 on the rear sprocket, it's a 6.25 ratio. So with a 70, it'll bring it down to a 5.38. So on the gear ratio calculator, it's showing a couple miles per hour gain. And loosen up the sprocket. Chain guard on here. Okay, 1270. 12 on the clutch and 70 on the rear sprocket. 5.83 ratio. Let's we'll see what that does. Okay, let me do a zero to 30. We'll see how much it slows it down with the um, higher gear ratio. Zero to 30, 5.83 ratio, 70 sprocket on the rear. All right, let's see what it did. A 10.40, so definitely slowed it down. It put it back into the 10s, so let me do that 0 to 30 again real quick. All right, second attempt, 0 to 30, 70 rear sprocket. Eleven point one zero. Let me do a top speed and see if I can get anywhere near fifty now. Top speed run, 70 rear sprocket.
So the bike definitely gained its top speed back. So with the 75 sprocket, the bike was doing in the eight second range from zero to 30. The best was 7.94 and then a top speed of 46.54. Then I added the 70 rear sprocket and it went back down into the tens where it was before, before I added the street tires. And then it did 49.36. So it's gained its mile per hour back. So the bike is pretty much where it was before I added the street tires where we do around 10 seconds, zero to 30, and around 50 miles an hour. 